It's late in the day, but happy Veterans Day. <laughs> um, I'm telling a story, my Veterans Day story, about my son, uh, who was in the Army, 2012. I wrote this story on Facebook um, about six years ago as a tribute to him. And... I've just discovered another way to redo this tribute for him. <laughs> I will say, um, when my son was deployed, I we were all worried about him. I mean, he was an army medic. Everybody, everybody worries about everybody in war, but um, an army medic is. Well, we just all get scared. <laughs> Anyways, I remember praying and um, feeling a little guilty that I was asking the Lord to protect my son and to bring him home safe and sound. And I knew that there were lots of mothers praying the same thing. And I felt like... Well, who am I to ask that? And at what cost would that be if I could, if my if I could have my son come home? Somebody else might not be able to. And that bothered me for a while. <sighs> War as hell. And I'll never forget that phone call. I think um, one of the two things that parents never want to experience, and that's number one, getting that phone call at like one, two, three in the morning. You know that phone call. Or when you've got a son or daughter in a combat zone and you get that weird phone call out of nowhere. Yeah, nobody. That's such a dreadful moment. But praise the Lord, I have a happy ending. And so do a lot of families. But there are, are many more who do not. And so I never want to forget them, even on this day. This is Veterans Day. They didn't make it home. But they would have been veterans if they did. They're still veterans to me. Now, before any of you grumpies are out there saying, now oh, gosh darn it, Carlin, there's, there's Veterans Day for those who've served, and then there's um, Armed Forces Day for those who who are still in and serving, and then there's Memorial Day for those who, you know, gave their lives. Oh. I like to make every day a special day. Today, every day is Memorial Day, Armed Forces Day, Veterans Day. Don't ever stop saying thank you for your service, right? As a matter of fact, it's my birthday, and Christmas, and Easter. It's even my anniversary. I should probably tell Shane about that. <laughs> yeah, every day's every day's a good day to celebrate and remember everything. So everybody out there, thank you for your service.
Even if you feel like you didn't do anything, thank you. You wore the uniform. Happy Veterans Day. March 29th, 2012, in the middle of doing my hair and makeup, I would have normally let the call roll over to voicemail and call back later. I saw Ashley's name light up. I'll call her back in a few, I thought. But for no explainable reason, I felt I should answer it. Mom? Her sweet voice cracked. My daughter-in-law was crying. Instantly, I knew that something was very, very wrong. I got chilled. I lost my breath, but I managed to scream, Ash, what's wrong? What's wrong, Ash? I screamed again. I started to shake. Then I was crying. Shane and Scott, who was our eldest um, and in the Air Force at the time on leave visiting us, ran up the stairs to me. I, re I relayed the news to them as Ashley was telling me, Mom, Kellen's alive but he's been hurt really, really bad from a roadside bomb or a mine or something. He's in surgery right now. Kellen was an army medic deployed to Kandahar, Afghanistan. While on patrol, as Kellen was helping his troop over a grape row, Reyes stopped, stepped on an IED. The blast blew everyone down. Kellen managed to get back to Reyes and apply a tourniquet on one leg. And he tried to do a field dressing, but his world started to go dark. Kellen heard troops yelling, Medic! Medic! As he was being loaded onto the helicopter, Kellen kept saying, What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? The senior medic said, You didn't do anything wrong, Mullinex. You did everything right. Many surgeries, a lot of treatments and therapies, scars from facial burns, a blown pupil from a traumatic brain injury, a blown out back, memory loss, 100% disabled. And that's just the physical part. The part no one sees is what he carries around in his heart and in, and in his mind. His troop, Reyes, lost both legs and a hand. Yet, during some of his lowest moments, Kellen never doubted that God is good. On December 23rd, Kellen got a phone call from Military Warrior Support Foundation. Homes for Wounded Heroes with Bank of America awarded my son and his family a mortgage-free home. What is it about a soldier's humble heart that weeps? I don't deserve this, Mom. I just volunteered. Oh, my sweet, sweet baby boy. You earned it. Congratulations and Merry Christmas, Mr. Molinix, from the Military Warrior Support Foundation. God is good. <laughs>